morning guys how's it going so we are out here on a really nice cold and breezy day to do an overnighter and look at a new ranger roll setup now i know that the ranger roll has kind of been beat to death it's been around for a long time typically it's just a poncho liner and a poncho so super simple there's lots of different variations that work at the end of the day it is just it's just a bed roll um, but I've got a piece of gear in mind that I've never seen used before that's extremely versatile and uh, just a slightly different combination that is really good for winter use. And we'll talk about the different things that you can do with it. Uh, I mean, I'm, you know, going all the way back, like just using the MMS bivy bag or using the USMC bivy bag and your poncho liner and all that. Mine still has a poncho liner. Now, I found this spot kind of tucked in... Uh, this laurel area and I believe I've camped this spot before I'm not 100% sure but that should help protect us a good bit from the wind shouldn't have to worry about anything in this particular area falling on top of us and hopefully by the night the wind has died down a bit because I didn't bring a stove so we will have to make a fire and probably build some type of wind break for it so So let's take a look at the main setup of the Ranger Roll on the bottom. As the basis for this setup, uh, and this being more of a winter setup, you can see how thin this thing is super lightweight and the additional layer that we have that could go in this that aside from our clothing is also extremely lightweight and uh, you know in my opinion it's a pretty small form factor as well i just got a roller cam uh, rope tied around the outside to hold it together take and set up our uh, one of our ponchos as our cover element A quick and easy way to undo this because I have a standard poncho and multicam here on as our outside layer that way if you needed to detach this and quickly uh, you know unroll it and have access to a poncho rain gear then you can just undo this real quick take this off and I keep this set up in like a wearable poncho fashion so that you could just throw it over yourself I'm going to go ahead and set this part out this part right here is what you would uh, look at kind of as your typical ranger roll this is an awesome piece of gear that i've used in a couple videos now but this is the uh, bushman travel gear thermo it is a poncho it's a bivy bag you can use it as a hammock under quilt it's got a reflective interior um, as the bivy it's got a bug net that so you can cinch this thing down so it's a really really nifty piece of gear and then this right here is my free soldier multi-cam poncho and like I said I have this set up uh, already snapped together so that you could just undo like one uh, of one or two of the bottom snaps and then throw this over you and your pack and have it as a piece of rain gear but this is meant to serve two purposes with this setup or two main purposes I should say you can either use it as a tarp, which is what we're going to do right now. But if you didn't want to bring a sleeping pad like with this, I just have this closed cell phone Z Fold pad. And it was just real easy to throw on the outside of the pack. But what I would use this for in the event that I didn't bring a pad with me is I would snap this thing together in like Ranger Roll fashion, the full length of my body. And you could even get away with doing it like this, having it still snap together this way, but stuff it with leaf debris, and then you have yourself a very comfortable and well insulating uh, debris mattress that you can sleep on. And I gotta say, that is one of the more comfortable ways to sleep, and I'm gonna kick up a bunch of leaf debris that's gonna go underneath our, our, our closed cell phone mat uh, for tonight, because there's plenty of uh, nice dry leaf debris, and I've cleared most of the sticks out of this area, and the small stuff, won't be an issue because we'll have this on top. 
I am uh, using a new camera setup. The last video that we did with it, uh, with the last two actually, seemed to work out pretty good with audio and everything. Uh, but it's the uh, Olympus OEM 5. So I'm really impressed with it so far. And I hope you guys like the quality. Now also too, I did not bring steaks. And I just remembered that. So I'm going to have to make some steaks. Go ahead and put that down so we kind of have an outline of where I want to be. Okay, and there is our poncho set up. Because we got that thick wall of laurels over here to our right. We got a slope right here to our left. There's not going to be any precipitation. So I didn't mess around with tying the hood on super tight. And I want to try something new. I've not tried this before, but I've got the elastic. Yeah, we got, I got the elastic cinch cord of this poncho up here around this laurel and that should allow it to uh you know move a bit with the wind and that does cinch up everything is you know more than we really need uh for this exact purpose the bushman tribal gear thermos as i mentioned before it's a, it's a poncho it can be zipped up these waterproof zips uh, as a bivy bag and in a poncho fashion you have waterproof zips all the way down both sides here at the top you have a removable zip on hood and there is a bug net that rolls out uh, from underneath those button snaps so you can cinch this thing down and close it up to keep the creepy crawlies off of you or flying insects opening it up you see that nice reflective material then for our Woovy, I've got a high-speed daddy uh, multi-cam Woovy. I've got the center and the bottom 
tied. This poncho is a bit larger than average, and so when it's zipped up in this fashion, uh, you have extra length if you want to put gear at the bottom. And you also have the option to unzip uh, at, the, at the very bottom because there's two separate lines of waterproof zippers. Just this Ranger Roll setup right here alone kind of incorporates the ideology of a lot of the uh, you know winter setups I've seen where people take like reusable space blankets or even the non-reusable ones and you know layer that between the poncho and the wooby for the thermo reflective properties this right here is two in one and so just these two items together uh, assuming that you have and you should always have you know appropriate clothing for the temperatures that you are in uh, these two items can make for, you know, you can get a couple hours of, uh, of sleep. Right now, I just have on a moisture wicking base layer, and then this is the uh, Lester River Bushcraft Wool Anorak. It's currently 38 degrees, and today's high is was 39, and we're probably uh, about to reach that, considering the time of day that it is. And walking in, taking my time with the wind blowing the way that it is, this worked good because wool anorak does, you know, pretty good in the wind. But like any type of wool garment, it's still going to allow, you know, wind to pass through. Just taking my time, slow pace, uh, didn't overheat. But just having a moisture wicking layer and this alone won't be enough. So I do have a Aaron design. Uh, Primaloft jacket in there and and that is my only clothing layers that I have and what we're going to be using uh, tonight to sleep with this system um, I'll be leaving my boots on and that's another thing I like about this type of setup is you can leave uh, your boots on and not really you know it doesn't cause any problems you don't have to worry about anything ripping but now I want to bring you over to my backpack <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna bring you over to my backpack and talk about uh, a, a layer that you could add to that sleep system that adds almost no real size gain in the overall form factor but adds a ton of warmth and that you could get by with you know subpar clothing and still be very warm it just doesn't hold up to the overall durability standards that you might be looking for when using a ranger roll so there is our Karen jacket which will go underneath our wool anorak and i mean them just having this single like single jacket it was just too warm to wear uh hiking in but here at the bottom i've got my zoo believes envelope style down sleeping bag so this thing's mid-range recommended temperature is right at 32 degrees or 32 degrees fahrenheit or zero degrees celsius and I've used this thing down, I think, to 36 or 37 degrees. And like wearing like wearing my pants, wool socks, I believe a thick wool base top. And I was fine. Like my toe, like my feet still got a little cold. But the thing I like about this is it's super small, super lightweight. It's envelope style, so it can go along with this type of setup and you know fold over with the wooby inside the well i would put this on the outside of the wooby but they kind of have the same footprint at the base where your feet go you know the only downside to this is it's a down bag so if it gets wet it's pretty much useless uh like a lot of down bags the material that the bag is made of to be so compressible and stuff isn't the most durable so like i said if you're looking for something where you can you know wear your boots all that type of stuff then it's not something you could crawl into but what i would do and if we end up getting cold tonight uh i would take and just have both layers and slide this thing into the sleeping bag so i have then two layers of that on top uh, I wouldn't really be that worried about the cold air on the sides as long as you can keep this front portion of yourself insulated in the bottom portion. If you're losing a little bit of heat on your sides, you'll be fine. Yeah, this is something that wasn't necessary. We most likely won't use it, but if you wanted to incorporate something like this into the sleep system, then you can really push those lower temperatures and still be extremely comfortable. If anything, uh, because I sacrificed bringing this out here for demonstration purposes and what didn't bring my puffalo pillows, so we might use this uh, as our pillow option and just kind of uncinch this a bit so it's softer. But yeah, pretty basic kit all in all. I got my food, got a titanium water bottle, 
900 mil cup with uh, my water filter and stuff in it we'll look at that later you know i got my hydro pack bladder in here and that's what i was using the drink coming in but i got a full thing of water little you know accessory bag battery bank medication sewing kit got a rhino rescue ifac on the outside of the pack that's their new uh like i call it a mini ifac but you got a tourniquet you got an israeli bandage i've got quick clot in there so everything you need to stop any major bleeding a vice kit which we probably won't need because i got chicken alfredo like a ready wise got combat wipes and then a uh, some bless a bar light to use for filming purposes so I, I think that oh and then i got some meat sticks and coffee and all that here in this front zip up pocket and we probably got about two hours of sunlight left the only downside to uh using water bladders is you can't always tell how much got left it's a hydro pack two liter and the reason i've got it or the nice thing about having the hydro pack bladder is i've got the hydro pack filter and one of their stove bottles and i can actually take the filter and put it attach it to the bladder with the quick clip system they have and then have two liters on my back and you know filter it as i go if i needed to Oh yeah, this is gonna be phenomenal. Yeah, I got my windbreak right here to my left. I can look over through the bottom of, <clears throat> through the bottom of these laurels. I can take and have my pack set over here on this side underneath that overhang to keep frost off of it. So, I'm take. Well, that didn't work for long. I'm gonna have me a fatty cheese field. This one's, yeah, the jalapeno and cheddar meat stick. These things have become my go-to snacking option because, well, they're fatty meat sticks. So they're more filling and they taste really good. I'm going to do a little bit of brainstorming on what I want to do with the fire situation. I'll get back to you once I figure that out. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put the fire right here in front. Um, but I am going to take and change into this jacket so that I can be warming it up because the wind's still been going. This is windproof and waterproof and all that good old stuff as well. And I have a little thing of tinder right here. I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, I think Camp Protect. And I just put some of it and that should spark up nice and quick.
It is time for a well-deserved coffee break. This right here is a 900 milliliter vault cam pot and my homemade cozy is wanting to stick to the bag there we go yeah so i made a homemade cozy for uh this titanium cup as well and it'll also fit around the base of that titanium water bottle you saw that's uh, just because you know titanium will lose heat just as fast as it conducts it so whenever you have a hot drink it's nice to have something like that to put it in but on the inside all i got is five actually this is the one liter Yeah, this is the one liter hydropack stow bottle and there's the smoke on cue and there is their filter that can fit onto this or the hydration bladder but yeah i want to get some water on the bowl so that we can have ourselves some anchor head coffee in, in my in my spice kit i have some creamer So yeah, this is the first time uh, I'm bringing this camera out and filming with it. That first video we did was at the wall tent where I had full control over the lighting. So we will just kind of play this one by ear. This right here should be ready to go. Get our two coffees in here. I've let these things steep for a hot minute. I'm just going to press them out. I have got some water on to boil and it is about done tonight. Uh, let's see, that's the best way to get that on there. We got a ready wise creamy pasta and chicken with vegetables. So, looking forward to trying this one. I haven't tried this particular one yet. So you guys want to take and make sure I get everything out of the corners here and stir it up. Always let these things sit for longer than the recommended time. I feel like that's something that actually just greatly improves the quality because that really gives the meat in these. I feel like 
if you don't do at least the amount of the recommended amount of time when it comes to rehydrated meals then the meat can be uh, it just won't be fully fully rehydrated but that right there looks delicious where I'm using the new camera uh, I'll know after this use no, I'll know after this use about what we're working with because you know I can't fully see the uh, the result of the video on the LCD display um, but if it is a bit dim or dark that'll be fixed by the next overnighter we do for sure Oh yeah, that's nice. That right there is, uh, I mean, it, like pretty much all the rehydrated, or I should dehydrated or freeze dried meals that is chicken and pasta tend to turn out good. Well, I'm gonna take it, and finish eating this, and just chill by the fire, and I'll get back with y'all whenever it's time to figure out how we're gonna crawl up in here and get situated for the night. Alrighty, I guarantee that little dude jig is going to fall because I'm going to be under here moving around, but it is time to hit the hay. And I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Ouch! Yeah, so I'm going to use my pack towards the front end here as a pillow. And then that way if I need anything... I got it. I'm not really going to be using the hood that much on this, I don't think. Just kind of reposition stuff. And then that bladder is underneath. There's still a little bit of water left in it. I have access to my straw. Boots are clean. So now... Unzip. And you can zip this thing from this top zipper set up about two thirds the way down. Or actually, no, pretty much about half the way down. And then you get to that second zip, and, and there's two separate ones that loop around, and that's because whenever you have this on as a poncho, it's the two separate sides that you can. Um, completely zip closed but got the Lester River bush crash on I gotta say with the Terran jacket on underneath and this anorak like I'm almost a little too warm that might just be because I've been in and around the fire a bit there we go we got all of that separated nicely Alrighty guys, well, I'm just going to settle in and get cozy, I'll, uh, <coughs> um, we'll see how this bag does and I'll uh, talk to y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. Hope y'all are uh, feeling warm and cozy. I just uh, I just have looked at my phone and it said it's uh, supposed to be about 22 degrees 
I've got some, uh, I just remember, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned it last night, but I've got some little uh, thermometer, like carabiner thermometers uh, on the way, and uh, that way we can kind of start uh, getting a measurement of the outside temperature in comparison to what it feels like, uh, like inner tent, sleep system, whatever. Um, I've been meaning to do that for a while, just keep putting it off or forgetting about it. But I gotta say, I'm very happy because I didn't think it was going to be getting down quite this cold. My core was completely fine with the jacket, uh, the the anorak, and then the wooby and the uh, bivy. I, you know, I kept my head out, so I don't I don't I haven't noticed any real condensation. My feet was fine. The only thing that got cold was my legs. Uh, I did have an electric can warmer in that bag. I didn't use it just because uh, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't extremely uncomfortable. It's just like my, my legs was the only things that got a bit, uh, got a bit cool. And then I just took and pulled, you know, this front part of my wool anorak over my face and then had the hood of the insulated jacket on and good, you know, it was, just it was good like I'm really happy with it and like all the laurels all the leaves are turned down and frosted over I gotta say it's really tempting to start a fire and make some coffee but I don't have that much water left in my bladder I, pr I probably have like you know maybe 12 to 16 ounces left so I think I'm just going to uh wrap things up and, and pack things up and head out because it is ah oh, well that's not what i wanted i don't know if I, there's probably no way you can see that from there but it's 7 13 a.m the sun should peak over the over that over a ridge over here to that direction in about uh another 30 minutes but it's already getting a lot lighter outside but yeah, this, this done really well. Like I highly recommend this combination for as light as it is and as you know compact as it is for winter use. So yeah, guys, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the video on the channel. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the channel with your friends, family, anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities. Uh, as far as the gear that's in the video, if it's still available on the internet, I will link to it. And don't be scared to hit, <coughs> to hit me up in that comment section. I try to reply to everybody that I can. Uh, and yeah, till the next one, folks. Adios.